There's a lot of ways to describe Jack. He really brings out the best in people, and that's what I've come to learn from Jack Adams. He's a 25-year-old still in college. There's definitely some uh, jokes thrown around about his age here and there, but yeah, we try to stay away from it. Throws it in front, they score! Adams went to the top of the paint. He's alone to handle in front. He's such a, a loyal team guy that if he sees somebody that's hurting a little bit, like he's the first guy to come out and put his arm around him. Because of what he's gone through, I think that he has a good voice for people to listen to. When he scored his first point here, it was like 784 days in between points. That's very difficult to overcome. To see some of these kids that have had 160, 170, 180 games, Jack hasn't even had 100 games yet. June of 2019. I was at the Red Wings development camp. Unfortunately, I collided with a guy, middle of the ice, harmless hit, my knee kind of just like twisted. And Typically, it's like a nine-month injury, but I had some complications with my MCL. The rehab was really tough, the first six months in particular. And then after that, uh, I think just trusting it and challenging yourself was the key thing. I first met Jack when we were at Union College together, and I got to see him kind of throughout his rehab, see the slight improvements he was making with that knee injury. COVID-19 happened, and our senior season at Union was unfortunately canceled. Went to Providence where my brother Rue actually ended up playing, won a championship there. I remember Jack Parker, the old coach at BU, told my dad when Rue was getting recruited that he was the best, you know, skating defenseman he's seen in Massachusetts in the last like 30 years. Kind of like me, he just had a really tough battle with injuries, so kind of a testament to his character and his team, uh, team first attitude was a huge reason why they ended up winning the national championship that year. One-timer score, Rue Adams. His real name's Mark, named after my father, you know, Mark Adams Sr. And then Rue is uh, Mark Adams Jr. It was a very unique relationship because when he was in like the third or fourth, fifth grade, Jack would literally sit down with the yellow pad and watch his older brother's games in USHL or at Providence College and take notes and then text him to his brother after the game. Well, we did everything together. He was the person who taught me how to train, taught me how to play the game, taught me how to eat right, sleep right. He was just my everything and just an unbelievable resource that I've had in my life. We was signed a pro contract with the LA Kings, and then uh, at the training camp he had a blood clot. So the team said, you gotta you know, retire. So he did, and he went and worked for a uh, private equity group at Merrill Lynch, did really well there, and then we had an opening at the firm that I was at, and we brought him in. September 18th, 2018. In the middle of the night, 3 a.m., he just uh, unfortunately had a really sudden heart attack, which you know took about 90 seconds, and then the rest is history, I guess. He had what they called an athlete's heart. It was dramatically bigger, almost 1.7 times bigger than the average kid's heart that age. I think Jack became much more spiritual over it. I mean, you know, sometimes it's, it's hard to talk about, and you know, you think as a parent, if you just don't talk about it, you think it somehow goes away, but it really doesn't. You know, Providence College, it was bittersweet, because that was really Rue's identity, and uh, it, it, Jack wasn't ready. My knee wasn't really healthy, and they rehabbed me every day and helped me get back to full speed, and I knew at the end of the season that probably wasn't gonna work out, I needed a fresh start. Coach Jay called me the next day and asked if I wanted to uh, resurrect my life, my hockey career. I'll never forget him saying that. And then kind of, you know, was pretty emotional about it and thought I got an opportunity I didn't really deserve and then took the offer on the spot. He went through a lot physically and he also went through a great emotional challenge in his life too, losing uh, his brother. So it was a three year period that his life changed and his passion for the game really didn't change, but he couldn't really utilize that passion. Every time on the ice I like to you know say a little prayer before I get off the ice. I've, I've been doing that you know ever since Rue passed away and I think that's something I've enjoyed doing I'll keep doing it. I have his initials on my stick. I don't you know try to put too much pressure on myself in that regard but I always obviously have him in the back of my mind. He found us and we found him and I think it's been a great match. 
the loss of his brother, the, the injuries he's had to face that's coming from different schools. He's had a lot of different experiences in his life that makes him a, a person that you want to look up to. It's a 1-0 hockey game off the stick of number 22, Jack Adams. I think that Jack having the experiences that he has had and still being able to have a smile on his face and being more than willing to look out for everyone else on our team just speaks volumes of him. I've always been a big believer in destiny and it's clear Jack belonged here and you know, we're very fortunate he ended up here.